Dag Zinga. Yes. I would like to inquire about the room. Is it still available? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Do come in. The man spoke German. I could tell straight away it was an Austrian accent. I, I even knew it was Vienna. Us, we were from Munich. Pleased to meet you. Jonathan Singer, at your service. May I? My family were tailors and in haberdashery, not just buttons and pins either. We supplied cottons, cloths, and made suits, as well as doing repairs and alterations. The room is 22 shillings and sixpence a week. One month's rent in advance, that's four pounds and 10 shillings. There is the bathroom, there is the toilet, there is the telephone, and this is the bedroom. It's quiet, it's peaceful. Are you here long? For medical treatment. Oh, we have some of the best here. <clears throat> he gave me three months' rent in advance. He said he might be here perhaps six months. Some of the time he could be in hospital. If he has to go in, he'd like to keep on the room, to store his things and to have somewhere to come back to if there's to be more treatment later. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's very quiet. Harry? Mm, yes, please. You don't like to ask. Well, when you see him, you'll know. Who knows what they've been through? They asked for it, certainly, but what we did to them, to Hamburg, to Munich, to Dresden, firestorms, worse than the 10 plagues. Your family comes from Munich, you can imagine. For them, I have no imagination. He tells me, thank you, no, I have a tap, a kettle and a gas ring, thank you. He wants to keep himself to himself. Oh, he's succeeding. Harry thinks he's lonely. He says the lonely are the least able to break out of their loneliness. Harry's lonely. I'm not so sure he's so lonely anymore. Janitan, what's the matter? That man in my house. I've heard him on the telephone. Just snatches. Keeps asking after a bomb. Bormann? And he's had visitors, very upper class Englishmen who speak German fluently. They all bow and scrape to him. Could not help but hear. Once they were in his room, it was his voice that dominated. And he was an artist. He won the Iron Cross in the Great War. So? Cannot say. All I ask is that we confide in the management committee. I shall invite them singly to my house to have a look at him. He may not appear on cue and we can't knock on his door, so it may take a number of visits. But if in the end half a dozen men think what I think, then we can decide what to do. It's definitely him. He had many followers here. Mosley, the Duke of Windsor, that Mitford woman. Well, if you were him, 
Wouldn't you pretend to be dead? Spread a story of a suicide, of a cremation? But if it's your considered opinion that Mr. Singer's new lodger is indeed Adolf Hitler, we must report it to the authorities. If we report it to the authorities, he will just produce his passport and say that we are all Meshuggans.